Hi, this video is going to be about quantitative genetics and this is very beginning level. And here is the first question. For a quantitative trait, if two individuals with extreme phenotypes are mated, the offspring, and here is the four answers to choose from. So if you need the time, you may stop video here, try to choose the correct answer uh, as long as for the second question. And when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answers with my answers and explanation. So uh, for the first question, the solution would be as follows. So we have two um, parents with the stream phenotypes. For example, parent one can be capital A, capital A, and parent two can be small a, small, small a. So when we build a Punnett square, as you see, all the progeny going to be heterozygous. And in simple Mendelian genetics, we would say that all the progeny would look like a parent one. But in quantitative genetics, we assign um, quantitative uh, um, number. For example, uh, for the dominant, this is going to be, for dominant allele, this is going to be 2. And for the recessive allele, this is going to be 1. This can be any trait, for example, uh, tallness or weight, for example. So, um, the parent 2 would uh, weight less than parent uh, 1, because here we have total um, number 4. And here total number would be 2. And as you see, all the progeny would be intermediate. So capital A would give 2 and small a would give 1. So all the progeny would be different from the parent 1 and from the parent 2 and would be 3. So here we would have 4, here we would have 2 and here we have 3 for all the progeny. So as you see, the correct answer would be C. All offspring will have intermediate phenotypes. So next question. For the quantitative trait, if two individuals with intermediate phenotypes are mated, the offspring, and once again, here for answers. Answer A will have a range of phenotypes, most will be intermediate. Answer B will have a range of phenotypes, most will be at the extremes. And answer C, all the offspring will have uh, intermediate phenotypes. And answer D, all the offspring will have extreme phenotypes. So if we take, uh, for example, this uh, intermediate uh, heterozygous individuals, so uh, what we are going to get, so parent 1 would be uh, heterozygous and parent 2 also would be heterozygous. Once again we build a Punnett square and here we would have capital A capital A capital A small a capital A small a and small a small a once again, let's assign uh, numbers here. So this is going to be 2 and 1, 2 and 1. So here we would have 4, 3 here, oh, sorry, 2 and 1, and 2 and 1 here, and 1 and 1 here. So as you see, 1 quarter would be homozygous dominant with number 4, 2 out of 4 would be intermediate with number 3 and uh, 1 out of 4 would be homozygous recessive with number 2. So uh, the correct answer would be answer A will have a range of phenotypes, most will be intermediate. And as you see, intermediate here would be 2 out of 4. So the correct answer, A. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. 
and see you in the next video. Goodbye.